Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello, Mercury. My cute red pancake. Okay, but today I'm going to show you... Hey, Saturn. Hi. Good evening, sir. They are very curious and very happy about about what I'm about to do because we're making a dick box today. Hooray! So the first thing we need, of course, is a clean box. You can just buy this anywhere. I chose a small one so it fits the cage, but you can, the bigger the better, of course, you know, you can pick whatever size you want. And yes, I am doing this on the couch because I have no better place to do it. Then going on to the other things we need, we need cocoa soil, which is just like dirt, it's just earth. Uh, it's pretty cheap, this one is 15 or 50 liters and it was I think 13 euros. And you can just like cut off a little bit and then pour water in it, which brings me to the next ingredient. Of course, we need some water. The next ingredient is a basil plant, but you can also use a parsley plant or something like that. But I really like the smell of basil, so... We also need some tools to cut this piece of dirt up and uh, mix it with the water. So the tools I chose were scissors and a fork. And that brings me to the last ingredient of our dick box. <laughs> so you just want to get some food in the dick box. So I'm using a little bit of their own normal um, food, which is just very boring. All the things taste the same and stuff. Then some dried worms. You can use live ones. Personally, I'm just kind of against it, but uh, it does provide a lot of nutrition for the rats, but I just don't really agree with feeding live animals to your pets. But if you do that, you do you. It's just a personal preference. And I have some sunflower seeds, which is, uh, this is a package for birds actually, but I use it for my hamster and my rats. Yay. So let's get started. The fork method didn't work, so we have to use a little bit more drastic magic measures. <laughs> so I have this bread knife that I'm going to try. So it was quite a bit of work to get the dirt inside. Uh, and I know it's only a little bit, but I just wanted to try it out. And I still have to add the basil plant. Ugh, it was really heavy. <laughs> but yay, it's in you guys. I ended up scraping it off, uh, scraping it off with a fork and just adding the water. So yeah, if you have difficulty doing that, this is just what it looks like with the basil plant in. It's starting to look like a real thick box. And then we kind of just bury it a little bit. So they kind of have to look for it. But a little bit, but just, <laughs> they're just babies. <laughs> and then we wash our hands for the 50th time because it is very dirty to make one of these. So now we're gonna put it in and see what they think of it. So I just put him in and um, if this is the first time he's downstairs so he may seem a little bit stressed but he knows how to climb stairs so he can just go back if he wants to and he can get out via that ladder over there so if he wants to or like that sure <laughs> We'll let him just discover what's down here. So Neptune was in that pink thing, so I just moved it here, so that was very easy. Mercury really does not want to be picked up, so I'll let you know when I succeed, but I am afraid that that's not gonna work. Yay guys, I tricked him. I put the pink thing back and then he went inside and then I just placed it, so I didn't have to pick him up. Hooray, and now he can experience the dick box anyway. So I hope they like it. I really do. Mercury's adventure was only short. 
he decided to go upstairs, but at least now he knows there is a downstairs. The others who are kind of enjoying it, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. They've all gone upstairs again. Hey, baby. So, yeah. I'm kind of uh, sad that they're not really interested in it, but then again, maybe they will be interested later. I will just keep it there. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!